Based on what we've seen over the last two days, it is clear to me that now is the time for additional action. We need to put in place more restrictions to help slow the virus and protect public health. That is why, effective immediately, the Emergency Management Cabinet Committee has approved my recommendation that students no longer attend classes in schools or post-secondary institutions until further notice. So I wasn't really expecting to make a video on this. Um, just maybe 10 hours ago, I thought maybe I was actually going to school tomorrow as per usual, but now I'm apparently not going to school for the rest of the school year. We don't know all the information. I'm not sure if I understand like why, why we're not just doing it online, which we might be doing it online, but from what I can tell, it seems like the school year is just kind of done. And of course, everyone watching this video probably does know why this is happening. Of course, the whole virus going around. And um, I, it's definitely, I definitely feel like closing the schools probably was the right decision, but it's going, it's just showing how bad the situation is getting. Like, damn, when this whole virus started, like, only a couple months ago, you would have never thought that schools would be shutting down, borders would be closing, flights would be suspended, things like that. It's getting, it's getting a lot worse than people thought. So where does this leave uh, students like me, where we kind of can't really go to school, and we're not exactly sure if we're doing online classes? Well, we're in a sort of a weird spot because there's two options that the government can choose. They can either suspend classes immediately, meaning that they're, you know, everything's done, no more classes, school year's over, the grade that you had, which I hope you can make it up for in case you have a lower grade, that gr the grade you had is the grade you get for that year. And you're probably going to transition into next year just because of sympathy of like, oh, well, you didn't really have much of a, much of a choice to make up your grade if you were, say, failing. So if you were failing, say you were in grade grade 10 and you wanted to go into grade 11, they're probably still gonna let you go into grade 11 just because of this whole coronavirus thing going on. However, their second option of what they could do is to hold online classes, to try and keep classes going for as long as they can until you know summer break or spring break, whenever this ends. Now, most provinces and states from what I've seen are not actually shutting down classes. They're just, you know, they're just sort of, giving you extra time off but i still feel like if governments are starting to shut down the whole year then it's going to transition into that especially because it doesn't look like things are getting that much better especially in north america and europe china things are getting slightly better but still outside of the world yeah we um yeah we're having some problems with this virus so i may be um having more f free time i guess to uh stream make videos so if you want to subscribe because less than one percent of you are subscribed i would greatly appreciate that I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are having issues with school right now because of this and if your school is straight up done. I know New York is one of the places and um, Nevada, I think, too, is really being hit by the virus. So how's everything going over there? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, see ya.